Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a bits gap by the dip grid bot. Now, if you're not familiar with how these grid bots actually work, they're designed basically to buy the dip and then sell the rip back up. So when the price drops, like you see on the chart here, the bot would be buying. And when the price goes back up, the bot would be selling for a profit. And with that being said, the buy the dip grid bot from Bitscap is actually one of the better ways to actually dollar cost average. The right way to dollar cost average is to buy when the price is dropping and sell when the price is going up. There are a lot of dollar cost averaging strategies that have you buying no matter what the price action. You're buying like a certain amount every week, whether the price is up or down. That is the wrong way to build wealth. The right way to build wealth is to buy low, sell high, and the buy the dip grid bot will do exactly that. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get into the actual setup and deployment of one of these buy the dip grid bots. But I guess before we do, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they're basically an all-in-one crypto trading platform. They're best known for their grid bots. And you can actually get started with test firing one of their grid bots in their free demo mode. So you will have nothing at risk by trying out the platform. And in fact, they do offer a seven day free trial. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use that link, you'll get a seven day free trial to actually test fire one of these grid bots. Now let's get right into the weeds and get one of these grid bots deployed. And we'll start over here in the Bitscap app. And the first thing you'll need to do if you're new to Bitscap is you'll need to add an exchange in order to actually deploy one of these grid bots. You are actually connecting to Bitscap via API keys. You do not send any money to Bitscap. Your funds stay on your exchange and they are as secure as they can be on a centralized exchange like Binance. So in order to add an exchange, you just click the add new exchange button select your exchange from a list of exchanges and then you'll want to paste your api key and secret key and then click connect now i do offer a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect your exchange to bitscap just check out my bitscap playlist for that video now once you have an exchange connected in this case i have my binance us exchange connected you can see i have a balance just shy of 2000 usd available I can now proceed with deployment of a grid bot so I can click the start new bot button and then under the spot bot tab you can see they have a few different grid bots their traditional grid bot is for sideways consolidating markets DCA bot is more for a neutral type bot it's good for both long and short and then by the dip is more of a short bot when you think the market is in for a correction, you wanna buy low and then sell when the price recovers. And so today we will be deploying the BTD or buy the dip bot, so I give that a click. Now, before you get started, it is important to make sure if you're going to create one of these buy the dip bots, you need to actually hold the pairs that you want to actually trade. And so in this case, the pair would be BTC USDT. I do not hold any BTC on the Binance US exchange, so I would actually need to buy some BTC in order to deploy this type of bot. And you can actually jump over here to the trading tab in order to execute one of those buy orders over here on BTC USDT. However, I'm not going to be deploying a grid bot using BTC, so I can jump back over here to the grid bot dashboard click on pair drop down to the pair i want to trade which will be the cosmos token atom and so if i give that a click now we're looking at atom usdt and for this purpose of this video i went out i bought a tiny little bit of atom almost five atom which is only around 46 dollars worth of atom and i can actually deploy this bot with my 3.7 atom and 10 USDT for a total of $46. That's how little you would need to actually deploy one of these grid bots. And so now you could actually just click continue if you want the auto settings that the bot has already set up for you. But 
we are going to manually configure this bot. So I'm going to click on the manual adjust and I want to configure both the low price and the high price. And in this case, you can see the low price will be a trailing price. And that basically means if the price goes down below, say in this example, $9, the bot will continue to follow that price down. Now on the flip side, the high price of, in this case, $12 would be the limit that this bot would go up to. And it is not an infinity grid bot, which means it would continue to follow the price up. The bot will be out of the fight if the price goes above 12. Now I want to raise that price up here to around 13 to give it a little more room to maneuver. And I'm good with the low price set at nine because again, this should trail the price down. Now with that being said, keep in mind, you will need some additional USDT available for the bot to make those buys if the price goes down below your lower limit. It will need more than this original amount in my case was only 10 USDT. It will need additional USDT to continue to buy if, say, the price drops all the way back down here to, say, the $6 range. So with that being said, make sure you have additional funds available for the bot if you're going to have trailing enabled. Now, next, I need to adjust my grid step or my grid levels. The grid step is basically the space between each one of these grids and the number of grid levels. As you can see, there are several red and a couple green that will affect how the bot actually operates. And it will also affect your grid step. And for these grid bots, you can have a minimum of five and a maximum of a hundred grids. Let's go with just five grids. And now you can see the grid step went from around 2% to almost seven and a half percent. Let's give that a back test and see how this bot would have performed. The three day results are around 0.9%. The 30 day results are just shy of 9%. Not great, but for me, this strategy is more about accumulating Adam at a lower price. And thus, I'm not so concerned about the profit percentage. However, we can play with a few settings. Like if we take this low price down here to say around $8, and now you see the grid step jumped up to 10%. Let's go ahead and click back test. And you can see the three day result jumped up to almost 1% and the 30 day result jumped up to almost 10%. Now, one more adjustment we could make is we could drag this lower price all the way down here to around six, which you can see back here. If you check your six was where it found support in the past. And now you can see my grid step has jumped to 16%, which again, I'm looking to accumulate Adam and sell at a large profit. So a 16% profit for me would not be out of line. Now let's click back test and see what that did to our back test results. Well, it had a negative effect on it. So let's bump the low price back up here to around the $8 mark, where again, Adam did find a little support back here on this move. And now click the back test one more time. And again, we're back around that 1% over a three days or 10% over a 30 day. And my grid step is at around 10%. And if I can make 10% say on Adam, that would be a profitable trade as far as I'm concerned. So I'm ready to essentially deploy this grid bot. I'm not going to set up a stop loss or a take profit stop loss. Again, I'm willing to accumulate Adam as low as it will go. And so a stop loss wouldn't apply to me, but you need to make your own decisions as far as what risk you're willing to take. This video is intended as a how to set up, not how to copy me type video. And thus you'll need to do your own recon and make your own decisions and be responsible for those decisions. Now take profit, the bot's automatically going to take profit on any move up. So I'm not going to set the take profit level. And so this bot is configured and ready to deploy. So I can just click continue. And so once I click continue, you'll get a preview of your bot. Once you're happy with those settings, you can click start bot. And the bot will start up. It will begin to deploy those grid lines, which the grid lines are basically open limit 
orders. They're open limit buy and open limit sell orders. So they are actually open live limit orders on your exchange waiting for the price to hit that level and thus buy or sell. So my bot is deployed and right now you can see my break even price is pretty much where we deployed the bot at and the bot would actually start taking profit if Adam's price goes up or on the flip side if Adam's price goes down it will begin to buy when it hits one of these green lines or these buy orders down here. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. I will do an update video on how this bot performs. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And at the end of the day, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.